facing Magnus Carlsen's computer self in the app Play Magnus. And today, for the first time, we are playing against Magnus at the age of 16. So let's, we passed that last week, or whenever I published the video. And now we're facing Magnus. Oh, is he going to play blindfold against us? Looks like it. Let's see what the text says. When I turned 16, I was invited to several elite chess tournaments. My strategy? I'm simply trying to beat the guy sitting across from me and trying to choose the moves that are most unpleasant for him in his style. I placed second in Linares after Anna, but that wouldn't be the last he saw of me. All right, let's get to it. Playing with the black pieces. Mm. I'm trying to think what is the best opening against a computer. I mean, in the past I always chose the Nidorf, but it seems a little bit risky. Let's try e5 for today. Even though Carlsen is a huge um, e4, e5 expert, and I'm not, so <laughs> maybe it doesn't make sense, but it feels like to me that those kind of positions might be better to face a computer, potentially. Um, let's see, what should we play? All right, I'll just go knight f6, d3, okay. d3, bishop c5, knight c3. So he plays a very harmless variation, obviously. Mm. Okay, castle or knight d4? Is knight d4 possible here? Knight d4, he might take on e5. Yeah, he might just take on e5. I could also go d6. D6 looks pretty normal. Let's go D6. Knight A4. Okay. He wants to get my bishop. Mm. So I'm thinking between bishop B4 check and bishop B6. Go check. C3, go back. B4, no, he doesn't go B4. Maybe he'll go B4 later. He goes bishop G5. I throw in H6. And he goes back to E3. Oh, well, thank you, Magnus, for giving me this free H6 move, a move I like to play anyway in many positions. It's not a big difference, but there was no need to just give me this move, obviously. Um, so now let's go bishop d7. Winning by unpinning. Or should I go castle? No, let's go bishop d7. b4. Yeah, well, that was, that was clear who played at some point. Okay, this is... He plays a little bit odd. Moves his bishop now for the third time instead of taking on b6. That's just a little bit odd. So now one typical maneuver would be to go knight e7, knight g6. I'm just wondering if knight e7, he takes on d7, queen takes, and he goes c4 to threaten c5. if this might be unpleasant. I would have bishop d4 though. I feel like that would be fine for me.
Not a hundred percent sure though. Mm. I could also just castle now and see what he's up to next. Well, could he go c4 anyway? Maybe, well, c4. Okay, I'll just castle for now. He castles too, okay. Copying me. And now, 97. Looks so normal. Still not sure about this bishop d7 c4 though. A6 is also a move. Not sure how much I like it after knight b6, cb6, and I don't know, bishop a4, bishop c4. What about knight d4, by the way? It's probably not that smart. Okay, knight e7, this, this should be pretty, pretty normal. Bishop c4, that's another odd move. Playing tons of odd moves here. So, it seems like it was a good choice to play this opening. Okay. Knight g6, one move, c6, one move, bishop takes f2 is a move, followed by b5. But I don't want to give him the f house, so bishop takes f2 is out of the race. Mm, c6, he'll probably take my bishop. Because otherwise I'll move it back to c7. So he'll take my bishop. And if I take back with the a pawn, he might go a4. Because otherwise I'll go b5. And that would be nice. Yeah, maybe I'll just go knight g6 for now. a3, <laughs> come on man. Those moves. <laughs> it's just too funny. I like queen e8 now. Because then if you take some b6, you can't push a4. So after queen e8, I kind of would expect him to go bishop b3. But maybe just bishop e6 then. Hmm. Queen e8, c6, of course, once again is a move. C6 followed by D5. But I just don't like to have this weakness on B6. After Knight takes B6, A takes B6. I mean, I can take back with the Queen. But, yeah. I'd rather like to take back with the Pawn, but then he'll put his Bishop on E3 at some point and I always have to keep the Pawn protected. But maybe it's really not a big deal. Not sure. So let's say c6, knight takes b6, a takes b6, rook e1. d5, bishop b3. I don't know, if he plays rook e1, I can go b5. So he needs to go a4, and then I can go d5. And now he needs to take, otherwise the e4 pawn is hanging. And if he takes, takes back, bishop b3. I have the center. Hmm. 
Hmm. Looks fairly decent, to be honest. Looks fairly decent. All right. So he goes bishop b3 to stop d5, but now I can go b5 and I shouldn't really have any issues. Goes a4, okay, we'll trade the pawns. Trade the rooks, sure. Yeah, why not? And now I can still go d5. I can also go queen a8. Queen a8 is threatening bishop g4. I kind of like queen a8. Let's do this. Bishop b3. And now I could go queen a3. Or queen a6. What about queen a6? I'm getting control of the a-file, that's nice. I'm not sure how much it is worth, but it looks nice. I could also go queen a3, bishop c1 I'm expecting. And then queen a6. Now let's just go queen a3. Bishop c1, and now queen. Queen, queen a1. Queen a6. Yeah, maybe this queen a3 wasn't necessary. <laughs> maybe I, I was just helping him a little bit. Anyways. Um, rook a8 looks normal, yeah? Is he going to play d4? He might play d4. So maybe I should go rook e8 followed by bishop e6. It's also pretty, pretty sensible. Bishop e3. Can't I go like bishop g4 now, threatening bishop takes f3? And threatening knight h4? Hmm. That looks pretty good. Rook e2? Really? Ha. <laughs> Really? Really, really, really. Well, I can take on f3, obviously, and just play b5 or queen a8. I mean, this must be good. This must be pretty good. Okay, queen a8 looks better. I don't want to weaken, weaken my pawns. Now bring the queen over to c8. He's threatening right now rook a2, winning my queen. So, queen a8, queen c8. He plays queen f1 to stop me from going queen h3. But now knight h5, knight f4 and I know at some point I might just have a really strong attack. Knight f4.
Okay, here's the A file, but I have the F4 square. Queen G3. Okay, I can't take on D3 because my knight on G6 would be hanging, because the bishop is pinning it. But I can go D5, for example. D5. Five looks good. Is he gonna go d4 then? Maybe. What other moves do I have? What's his next move? I don't know. I'm thinking about queen a8 right now, but that's probably a little bit stupid. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's probably just stupid. Yep. So d5, if he goes d4, kind of undermines my, my outpost on f4 a little bit. I don't like that. So maybe I should just play it slow, play like rook f8, king h7, f5. That looks decent. But it's, I mean, it also looks a little bit weird, but no, okay, let's do it. King f1, okay. Now king h7. D4, okay. It's not like the king is feeling very safe on, on f1 either. So now I could go f6. Or I could go f5. f5, he takes on e5, takes on f5 and plays like bishop c2 maybe. Yeah, bishops are pretty nasty. But the knights, they're also pretty good in this position. With the outpost on f4. I'm pretty sure I'm not worse here. Probably better. But it remains complex because he has the a file. So I can't really get into his position anytime soon. So I could go f6 and then I can go d5 later. Maybe that's smart. But maybe not. Whenever I play d5 he can take and play the bishop to the other diagonal. To the b1 h7 diagonal. And um, that might be an issue in some lines. I don't really know. So what do I do? Need some kind of plan. Okay, so f5, he cannot take on e5 because I take on e4. Well, not even sure about that. Maybe he takes on d6 then. Whew. No, but after f5, he just takes a pawn. And then queen takes a five, bishop c two. So that's that's not good. I really desperately want to get in on the a file, but I don't know how to. I would need to play this like elaborate maneuver of moving my queen, then move my rook over, move my queen 
to the eighth rank and then play rook a8, but that's just just takes forever. And he also has this idea of going queen g4. To to trade my to trade queens, and that wouldn't be good because then his rook would be annoying on a7. So I'm thinking about h5. But then he might play queen g5, f6, queen f5, maybe. Well, this probably should be, hmm, even this is <laughs> it's really not clear to me, really not clear, but probably that should be good. Oh, hold on, he's threatening to take on e5 and play bishop c5. That's an issue. So maybe I should start with f f6. Well, then again, he's not really threatening it because after h5, d takes e5, d takes e5, bishop c5, I can go rook d8, and he cannot take on f7 because of checkmate on d1. Rook a5, but okay, I want to go f6 anyway. Am I missing something? Am I gonna get checkmated here? Bishop takes f4, knight takes f4, queen takes f4, e takes f4, rook takes h5, king g6. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, that that was not the move I was I was afraid of. Rook a2 back. I guess he he's out of um, you know useful moves. That's that's always good to know if the computer plays like that. So his queen, you can see his queen is kind of dominated. Doesn't have any place to go. That's good. So now I can maybe implement my plan of playing queen d7, rook b8, queen back, rook a8. I'm not sure if queen d7 is so smart because then he can take on e5. Well, if he takes on e5, maybe I'll just take back with the f-pawn. Because I was thinking if I take back with the d-pawn, he can play rook d2 with tempo. So maybe I'll just go queen c7. <clears throat> Looks a little bit odd, but I don't see anything wrong with it. H4? Seriously? This pawn is just a long-term weakness. Now he always needs to worry about this pawn. So I'm really happy to see this move. <clears throat> so now I'm continuing with my plan. Rook b8. A rook c8. Does it make a difference? Let's go rook b8. Now let's get move to queen back. Queen c8. Is bishop f7 a problem? Bishop f7, is that threatening anything? Should be fine, yeah? I go queen c8, bishop 7 rook a8. But, yeah, I don't want him to exchange his bishop against my knight. So bishop f7 is bugging me a little bit. Yeah, bishop of seven is bugging me. 
I don't want that. So maybe I'll go queen e7. So he's just waiting. So now I can go queen. F8 or queen E8. I don't know if, this, if there's a difference. Let's go queen E8. King E1. And now I want to go rook A8. He takes, I take back. And I'm coming in. I'm coming for you. I'm coming. Yeah, this looks pretty strong. I just realized I missed bishop f7. It's kind of stupid. But he takes on e5 first, so now I have a chance to take on a4. Yeah, I missed bishop f7. He could have played bishop f7 maybe. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can sacrifice the exchange and then play queen b3. Yeah, that could be that could be really strong actually. So I could also just take back then. It's nice that his queen is on g3. It's like completely out of play. completely out of play. Rook a5. Yeah, maybe I should have taken the rook, I don't know. But even here... I take on a5, I play queen d7. And I threaten queen d3, which is looks just really, really annoying. Can also go queen d8. The only thing I'm still worried about is bishop f7 a little bit. Because it looks like he might get some strong counterplay there. So we're going to play it slow. Oh, bishop c4, of course. I was only looking at bishop c2, but bishop c4, that allows him to still... Um, to still have this bishop f7 move. But what if I go king h8? I like king h8. a6. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> I can't believe this. What is this? Am I not just getting my queen in now into his 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 position and he has to resign? I mean, how is he is he gonna survive this? It seems unbelievable. Queen d8 or queen d6? Queen d6? Followed by queen a3? Come on! I'm coming in with my queen. How are you going to deal with this, man? Bishop c1. I mean, this must fall apart any second. 
King D2, come on. Gotta be kidding me. The cool thing is the queen has to stay on g3 to keep the to keep the h4 pawn protected. Maybe I should just bring my king now. Yeah, it seems like the queen alone can't get the job done. Queen a5, bishop c4. Maybe I, I'll just go king g8 first. King c2. Bishop f1. That's so annoying in playing against computers. It's like so tough to beat them. It's so tough. You know, a human, they would just like, at some point they would just make a mistake. But the computer just sitting there doesn't care. Just doesn't care. The queen a4 looks good, right? Queen d1 next. So I got queen d1, bishop c4, queen h1. The problem is then he might, so queen d1, bishop c4, queen h1, bishop c5, check king e8, bishop e3, threatening to take on f4. And if I take on h4, he takes on f4. Annoying. So maybe I should go back with my king to h7. Yeah, let's do this. All right, now queen d1. <clears throat> the only thing is my pawn on c6 might my pawn on c6 get weak Queen e1, bishop c4, queen h1, bishop f7. <clears throat> oh man. Can I somehow get c5, c4 in? He's playing without his goddamn queen. How is this not winning? <sighs> this is 
just slightly frustrating. Just slightly. Hmm. I don't really see a way to make progress. Ah, there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Well, I can move my knights really. I could play like knight e6, but what then? He'll immediately take the chance to free his queen, play queen h3. <coughs> so, that's not gonna do it. If I play c5, he just takes it. Doesn't look like I can prepare it in any way. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Queen d1, bishop c4, followed by bishop f7. And if the bishop is on f7, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> so let's try... <laughs> let's try like a triangle maneuver. At least something has changed, right? Something has changed. I don't know if for the better or for the worse, but something has changed. I think for the better, because this bishop is not on my 
knight anymore. So now queen d1 looks good. Or maybe king h7 first, even better. Because then he can't go bishop c4 because of c5. Now queen d1. Okay, I can t just take the pawn h4. With the queen of the knight. Uh, what makes more sense? Probably, maybe it doesn't matter. Because he's not going to take my queen anyway. But queen takes h4, maybe he goes queen g1, suddenly my queen is trapped. No, not really. Okay, he wants to go bishop c1. And then bishop f7. Hmm. So maybe I should go queen takes h4 and queen g5. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I should do that. Knight takes h4, bishop c1. But then I could go like knight h to g2. This kind of looks cool. I actually kind of like that. Actually, it looks really strong. So I cannot really take on f3 now. Queen takes f3, my, my knight is hanging on h4. And the tactics don't seem to work out. Queen takes e4 check, king b3. I mean, of course, you don't expect the tactics to work out against the computer. So, um, knight takes f3, he would take on f4. But I can, I can even go g5. g5 looks... Wait, what about g5? Isn't he just resigning? He can't take on f4. Yeah, so now I just take on f3 and I'm two pawns up. And uh, his queen is, is pretty much still trapped. Guys, I think we're winning another one. Okay, maybe it's too early to call it. Well, not really. I mean, against a human, I would say, of course, I'm completely winning. But um, let's not get tricked. But uh, I mean, it doesn't really look like he has many tricks. As he's p two pawns down. And his queen is still trapped. So can I can I win the queen now somehow? No. Doesn't look like it. But maybe queen d1 is good. h4 he still has queen g4, unfortunately. But queen d1 I quite like. The idea of knight e1. He takes. Oh, now he has... Uh-oh. 
he has queen h3 available oh no this is not good but how bad is it maybe it's not that bad either okay I gotta calm down because I have 95 I have 95 and that should should do it right queen f5 check king g7 and queen e6 I take on I take on c4 with check he has to take back and I play queen d7 I'm two points up But for a moment I was getting worried here that he might trick me. I mean he might still trick me, we'll see. Queen e6, now I take. Play queen d7. Okay, well. Okay, this is two pawns up. <coughs> this... should be pretty easy <laughs> but then again just gotta be gotta be careful till the end always okay h4 g4 h4 you might play f3 so i'll go g4 king now i'm gonna go queen e6 well i don't have to i can also go h4 or king g5 oh, let's go h4 Queen f1. Um, okay, just push. Queen c1, protect. Queen g1. King h4. Or queen d6. I mean, I don't know. What should I do? Queen d6. Now king h4. Hmm. G3 is possible. Queen c5. Queen g1. Now I shouldn't go g3 because he takes and I'll take my queen. But I can go queen c4. e5. Yeah, give me another one. Give me another one. Give it to me. Yes. Give me all your pawns. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, I like my position. It's quite nice. It is quite nice. It is quite nice. Please resign. Yes. Yes! We got it. Two wins in a row, my friends. Took me a while. I know, guys. I don't know how long this took, but uh, we did it. And we beat h16 as well, and we advance it to h17. There we go. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I think the critical moment was when he, when he for some reason, brought his bishop from e3 to b4, and then it was all game over. I think otherwise it would have still been pretty hard to break through. I'm not sure if he's in Zugzwang. I'm not sure. Pro hmm. I don't. I don't know. Maybe there was a Zugzwang. I. I don't know. If you want to, you guys can analyze it. <laughs> I'm done. All right. Bye-bye.